everybody, it's Tracy from Downward Dog Rising. I'm gonna give you a yoga Pilates short little drill. So if you feel like something short and sweet to stretch to end your day, to work your core, join me. Okay, let's begin. First of all, I'm gonna have you sit in Dandasana, staff pose. So ideally, you're on your sits bones equally. You're gonna stretch legs long out of your center. And you just wanna feel like you can relax your shoulders down back away from here. So maybe flex toes to sky. Three deep inhales right here. Breathing in and breathing out. Two more times. Breathing in, breathing out. One more time, breathing in and breathing out. All right, next what I want you to do, you're gonna reach arms straight over your head and then I'm gonna have you hip hinge forward over the legs and do a little caterpillar. Keep chest long, keep breastbone long, back is long, hip hinge, breathing in and breathing out. Getting into back of thighs, hamstrings. One more deep inhale. Gently come up. Okay, next, what I want you to do here, your sits bones are bones you're sitting on equally. Your two hip bones, these bones here, face them forward and avoid rotating your pelvis. Keep hips straight. Arms reach out. I'm just gonna have you breathe in and then come back to center and then you're gonna breathe in the other way come back to the center so you're gonna inhale keep lengthening top of head away from tailbone so you're gonna inhale to sides of ribs exhale come back and then breathing in feel those ribs expand four more breathing in exhale come in three Breathing in, exhale, come in, two more, breathe. And one more, all right. If you wanna modify, we're gonna do the next one. You could do hands to your shoulders, pulse, pulse, come back center. This is so you don't cheat and just swing arms. Keep hip bones straight ahead. Now, as long as you're not moving your pelvis, extend both arms. Exhale for two. Lift and lengthen through top of the head. Then you're gonna exhale for two. So it's gonna look like this from this angle. And then. Twist from Pilates. Really tighten core, create space and length in your spine. Last two. Come back to center, a couple little shoulder rolls, shake out your knees. Okay, then we're gonna go a little wider with our feet on the mat. And basically equal weight across each hip, across each side of your pelvis. So on this one, if you do have osteoporosis or herniated discs, I'm not gonna have you, you're not gonna, you're just gonna do this part. Hinge a little baby bit forward. Turn, hinge from the hips, little baby bit forward. So you just go a little bit to get a little bit of motion in the center of your back, right in the mid back thoracic spine. So modified, you would just Tiny bit, hinge. Okay, now this next one, I want you to start from the top of your head and you're gonna roll through each section of your back. So let me backtrack. We did hinging from the hip. Here is moving from the neck vertebra. Let me show. Nod your chin and you allow your head, neck, shoulders, osteoporosis, avoid this. 
chin to breastbone, you would roll as far down as you can. And then you'd start to make your way through the other part of your spine by pressing, lengthening apart. Imagine there's a ball sitting on your lap or a yoga block. Yeah, you could have a yoga block in your lap. Now imagine your ribs. You have to stretch each rib away from the necks, away from the hip bones. You rise up, stretch ribs over block, create the elongation in your back, and then you come up again. So it's like your back is against the wall behind you. Lengthen, nod chin. Now, slow with control. You're gonna go around whatever's sitting in your lap, ball, block, and then stack up tall, sequential motion. Exhale, really draw the abdominal wall to your back on the other side. So we're not scrunching anything together. We're elongating, creating length, depth, and space. Ribs out of hips. Three more. Ribs out of hips. Two. One more. Okay, now I feel good about adding the next part, sa. Osteoporosis, hinge from hip, come up, lengthen, hinge from hip, come up. Otherwise, nod chin, roll sequentially. Now really root down into each half of the pelvis, stack it up, feel those obliques, ribs, stretch part. You don't want the hips moving, I caught that, that's cheating, I cheat too. You have to really root down so there's no motion at all. It's as if your pelvis is in concrete. It's stuck there. So just, you're moving from the area mid-back between those blades. Try to see if you could keep equal weight in each sits bone. Breathing in, wrist stay straight. So you don't lose energy. Think of wringing out a wet sponge in between each rib. One more each side. Lengthen head away from tailbone. All right, shake out your knees. Now we're gonna go the opposite direction in a reverse plank. So now you would just take legs straight back into your dandasana. You would have fingers reach apart wide Unweight the shoulders, avoid scrunching. Press shoulders up, down, back, away from ears, armpits, the columns. And you're gonna lift straight up, tighten core to spine. Breathing in, breathing out. And just hold it right here. Breathe in, breathe out. Press hips to sky, engage gluteals. Breathe in, breathe out. Open shoulders, chest. Hips up a little higher. Breathe in, breathe out. Now one more time. Breathing in and breathing out. Lowering down, shake out those knees. All right. Okay, next what I want you to do, I'm gonna have you take one knee. Actually, I'm gonna have you do one knee bent, one knee bend, and then I'm gonna have you take one arm overhead. Now, I'm gonna have you Forgetting what I want to do. Huh? What do I want to do right now? Hmm. Let's do cat cow just to get our entire spine to stretch apart, tailbone long, head away from tailbone, abdominals draw into your low back. So you're going to go exhale. 
Inhale. Three more. Two more times. And one more time. Exhale. Inhale. All right. Okay. Come all the way down. You're going to lower down to your mat. And I want you to do Bhujangasana or otherwise known as my brain is shutting off um, Bhujangasana. I know what I want to do. Sphinx. Okay, Sphinx. Okay. So I just want you to stay steady like this. Feel how the abdominal wall domes up into your low back. So you're actively working, even though you're stretching, you're also actively working. So we're taking from yoga and we're going to apply it to Pilates in a second. Just stay here and breathe. Neck is long. Even tilt chin a baby bit forward so the neck really lengthens. Feel the abdominals turn on. Maybe you tilt one ear a little baby bit to one shoulder, stretch side of neck. Come back center. Maybe you tilt opposite ear a little baby bit to shoulder. Come back center. Okay, now from here, what I want you to do, from Sphinx, we're going to take one heel and we're going to do heel, heel, toes, point down and again we don't want to be rocking and rolling our hips back and forth like that so you have to really scoop your abdominals in from pubic bone to navel and then create the length in your spine hip points firm on mat in front heel heel point and then what i want you to do here is really lift the abdominals to your back Heel, heel, point, and then we're going to turn our head, stretching your neck more, looking over one shoulder. Back. 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 Exhale, exhale, inhale, down. Exhale, exhale, inhale, down. Exhale, exhale, inhale, down. Oh, I almost got a cramp. Woo! Last set. <laughs> exhale, exhale, inhale. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> okay. Come all the way down. Relax your forehead and the backs of your hands. And just settle into the mat. Settle into the back front of your pelvis so the low back releases. Inhale, exhale, two more. Breathe into the center of your low back. Inhale, exhale. And one more time, breathing in, breathing out. All right. So we did single leg kick from Pilates, from our Sphinx in Yin Yoga, Bhujangasana, Low Cobra. So what I want you to do next from single leg kick in Pilates, we're going to do double leg kick. So what I want you to do for double leg kick, I'm going to take you to a Pilates fundamental where we take our arms straight back. I'm actually going to have you do your palms to the sky so it opens chest. And what I want you to do, I'm going to have you tighten the core and I want you to really lift away from the mat and hold and then come right back down again so i want you to feel as if your shoulders get pushed down back out of your ears inhale and then exhale inhale helps you lift but if you want to protect your back you would just reverse the breath and you would do exhale scoop abdominal wall tight inhale down depends what you're looking up to do exhale supports low back lumbar spine Inhale down. If you want to go higher, your back feels supported. Scoop in and one more time. All right. Now, 
press your hip bones firm into the mat. Then we're going to take our hands behind our back. I'm going to have you actually see, you wouldn't do this with any rotator cuff issues because bringing your hands behind your back is a bit much unless you're really stretched and you don't have any shoulder issues. So be careful with this one. So now for our double leg kick, you're going to do one, avoid arching your back off the mat. We don't want that. We want our hips firm and down. So you have to engage your hamstrings, backs and thighs, scoop your abdominals in tight. Exhale, exhale, and then you come up into that flight. And they're going to turn our head to stretch our neck each way. So you're going to go. Abdominals have to really lift into your back. Last set. Hands by sides, press up to hands and knees. Now go back into your rest pose, the last enough. Maybe you'll keep tops of feet flat on that. Maybe you'll pedestal your toes under. And just stay here for a second. Pull your sternum, your breastbone forward and through the two arms. Release those sits bones straight back behind you into the mat. Breathing in and breathing out. You can even stretch through fingertips. Feel a stretch under the armpits, upper mid back. Breathing in, breathing out, armpits to palms, to those fingertips. Release those shoulders. One more deep inhale here. Gently release, walk your hands in, press up to hands and knees. Okay, so I'm gonna have you do a twist from Pilates. I started to do a side plank earlier and I came out of it. So I'm gonna give you a little twist version from a Pilates. And then this would be like side plank in yoga. So what I want you to do here, you're going to have one knee bent. Basically, you're going to shoot the legs out, lift the top hip, and then think of wrapping around the ribs, reach under the armpit, come right center, and then come back down to your mat. I'm not sure if I'm totally in view or not. I'm going to slide back. Okay, so then from a seated position, you shoot the legs out, the top hip has to lift up, you scoop it, and then you lift the hips up, work those obliques, reach under the arm, come up, and then come right back down again. So you go up and do your twist, open shoulders, chest, and down, three more. So you go up and then you twist. Inhale and down. Two more. So you're going to go up and out. In and down. One more time. You're going to go up and out. Chest is open. Squeeze the air out of the lungs. And down. All right. Swing the legs to the other side of your body. And then what I want you to do, you're going to shoot the legs out again. So you're going to shoot the legs out. My drawstring doesn't work in my pants, so little fix right there. Alrighty. Now, we're going to shoot the legs out. Okay. One side's always going to feel different. Sometimes your hand can get away from you. Notice how far we don't want to do that because we don't want to lose it. Our center of gravity will get displaced if we do that. So basically, you're going to have your shoulder, elbow, wrist. You're going to shoot the legs out. You lift up the pelvis, 
chest is wide open, bottom hip lifts up. Now squeeze the air out of the lungs after you open chest. Open, come back down. So you shoot the legs, lift those ribs, wrap them. Come back, center, and down. Inhale, twist. And down, two more. So you're gonna lift and lengthen, chest is open. Exhale, inhale, come back. Inhale, last one. Twist, work those bottom obliques and come in, awesome. All right, now we're gonna stretch our two sides. So we wanna feel we never squish ribs together. We have to sink down and stretch up, up, up. Now from here, we're gonna take one arm to the side and then lengthen head away from tailbone. Keep both hips down there. Avoid bringing that hip with you. And just stretch, opening shoulder, chest. Really sink, feel that whole side open up. Try to expand into those ribs laterally. Breathing in, breathing out. One more deep inhale. Gently come up. Now we're gonna stretch arm up, other side. Really elongate your spine first. You have to lengthen apart, decompress. Now I'm gonna take it to the other side and just stretch that whole side. You'll always feel one side's gonna be tighter than the other, most likely. That's pretty normal. Since we don't move like robots, we don't program numbers and tell our bodies to move exactly the same on each side like a robot would be able to. So pretty much we just try to try to get balance between both sides of our body so we don't set ourselves up, up for injury. Two more deep inhales. Open up that entire side. One more deep inhale. And gently come up. All right, we're gonna bring the bottoms of our feet together for a little Baddha Konasana. Butterfly stretch. So you're just gonna bring soles of feet together. Think of water, knees floating in water. Our thigh bones, those femur bones, are getting some lateral rotation inside your hip socket. You're really stretching up. And then slowly, gently start to hinge forward from your hips without bending your spine, without rounding your back. So we're just doing a little hip opener. Sitting during the day can make our hips tight. So this is helpful for our hips as well as our low back. Acknowledge any tightness, just go into it, then release. Keep grounding and centering. You'll feel a give, and then just give into it a little bit. Maybe you'll stretch arms in front. Maybe you'll open to the sides. One more deep inhale here. And slowly we're gonna come up, close the knees together, go into little windshield wipers side to side. Rolling across those hips, release the hips. All right.
We're gonna go into our easy pose and call it a day, an afternoon, a night, whatever time it is for you right now. Got a little movement. If you're sitting at the computer today, at least you moved a little bit. And let's just do one little extension here. Breathing in, get a little extension through mid back, right in between those shoulder blades. And gently exhale, bring hands to heart. All right, so we did it everybody, we are finished. So thanks for joining me, appreciate you. And I'll see you again soon, so take care. Bye. See you soon.